Hey everyone, welcome back to another The Maury's Plays Let's Play of Animal Crossing Let's Go to the City or Animal Crossing City folk As always we are playing, we try and play daily I think we're pretty good, we're pretty consistent We have been since the start of the year We've only missed a few days here and there So um, I hope you're still enjoying this series um, Before we get into things I want to say a huge thank you to the channel members um, Because without you this couldn't happen. We certainly wouldn't be, what, 136, I think it is, or 37 episodes into Animal Crossing, um, and plus playing other games as well. So I just want to say a huge thank you before we get into things. Uh, looks like a bit of a miserable day, but we are, of course, technically in the rainy season. And the end of June is just going to be just rain clouds and rain, I think. Um, so yeah, today we've got a lot of fossils to deal with. We need to sort those out. Hopefully our, I think it's purple, I want to say, hopefully our purple pansy has grown back so we can move it onto our patch. We'll do that first actually and then we'll have a bit of a walk around town. Maybe there'll be a visitor, but if not, there's plenty of little jobs to do today. Yes, it has grown back. Okay, let's rescue this. I want to put it in our garden center, but just temporarily until we find another hybrid rose. Um, we're gonna stick it over here, I think. Just because it's a hybrid and it's so pretty. It's probably the prettiest flower in the game so far, I think. Um, it just looks really cool. And the pansies always look nice anyway. So this is our garden shop currently pretty much complete. Harry, get out of the garden shop. <laughs> um, don't trample those gold roses. Okay, so I think I saw a fossil over here. Um, we may as well head around the village actually and see if we can pick up some more fossils because we're gonna have to deal with those today I think um, here's one and of course we need to check on our money trees actually I totally forget that's kind of our main goal in the last few days and going into this week is to continue trying to grow our money trees um, but looking at going around town looking for the fossils of course a bit of a daily task but it will also give us a chance to see if there's anyone Walking around, maybe Sahara. Pascal's not here because he normally favours that bridge. We haven't seen him anywhere else, in fact. Hey, Tipper. I was literally... I'm going to be honest, I was literally going to walk right by you. <laughs> I've been thinking lately that I'm really going to stay in Moriah forever. No, Tipper! I actually like where your house is. If not forever, that means I'll be moving eventually. So do you think I should just get it over with now? No. We've got a little neighbourhood going on here and we like it. You want me to stay, Skippy? Hmm, it's nice to hear you say that, but... I don't want to lose my momentum and wind up staying here forever. Well, I guess I'll think about it a little more. Oh, uh, we'll have to get Mary out to, to say no as well. Ma this is where Tipple lives. This will open up the space a little bit too much. I kind of like having uh, like three houses next to each other. I know this is um, a player's house, but still it's kind of nice to have a little bit of a... Kind of a little, little neighborhood almost. Anyway. Seems we're looking for fossils, although I'm not paying much attention. We've probably walked past one. Let's see if... No, there's none up there. Let's work our way around towards the money trees then. And we'll still keep looking for the fossils. Because we've got so many to give to Blathers or to appraise. Uh, oh! Hey, Wendell's here! When I was like, do I look away? I can't look away. Oh, what do I do? Do I walk? Do I talk? Oh, I don't know what to do. Yes. So far, so good. I guess it pays to do. Oh, no. No, our plans. No, what a waste. Why did this not grow? Oh, no. I bet Wendell trampled on it. What a waste of 99,000 bells. Uh, in that case, we're going to have to bring it, the circle a little bit more forward, but that's okay, I think. We might as well plant one while we're here. There we go. We'll try and increase our chances. I'm worried about that 10%. Uh, it could still technically 1% chance of not blooming uh, money trees. We're not doing it for the money, we're just doing it for a bit of a town feature, so it doesn't really matter. Um, and we can only do one a day, so tomorrow we'll do this one. And I guess we're going to have to... 
either have a bit of a shorter one, which I think will be too short, or we'll have to make a bit more of a... Ooh, we nearly dug up our tree again. That would be really bad. It's going to have to be a bit more like this, I think, which still doesn't look too bad. I don't know what shape that is, where you've got two straight edges and then two curved edges. I'm sure it's got a, an official name, but... <laughs> anyway, we'll come back to Wendell. Stay by the beach, Wendell. We haven't got any fish on us. We do have fish ready to give you in our basement. Um, I'm trying to think what ones we need to give. Freshwater gobby from... Wait, do we still need to give the eel? I can't remember. Um, let's go and see which fish did I leave Mary with. My brain is uh, not working today, so we'll check in with Mary's. And then hopefully that will uh, remind us. Oh yes, we've got a, is that a gar and a freshwater gobby? Hmm. So gar, freshwater gobby. I think we have an eel, but... Oh, there's no way of seeing which one Mary's got, is there? Um. I don't know. I guess we'll just have to do the eel. I don't want to waste this opportunity and give... Wendell is something we've already done. I think we only need one more alien pattern and I'm pretty sure that must be the, the freshwater gobby, isn't it? Did we get rid of the eel? We'll just check our basement. I can't remember now. We'll, we'll check our basement. Oh, my plans are going all astray. <laughs> um, yeah, we'll just see in our basement. Because we left, we didn't leave any fish in here, did we? Uh, actually, that reminds me. While we're in here, we're gonna we're gonna put the Pikmin hat on again. Uh, a couple people have suggested it based on uh, the fact that we've just started a little Pikmin let's play. Um, where? Oh no! Ah! Where? And then we'll just put this banana split hat on display. It's uh, not my favourite hat. I'm not gonna lie. I think just for a little while we'll go, we'll go back to being a uh, a Pikmin, and we'll head down to the basement and we'll just double check which uh, items we got in here: an eel and a koi. Okay, I'm back, and it is true we do not need the eel. I'm pretty sure because the eel is one of the alien glyphs, and the other one is the last alien glyph we need is a freshwater gobby, which means we may as well trade our. Um, koi because the koi I believe gives a pretty cute footprint pattern which may come in handy um, outside the players houses or something so we'll, we'll give up our koi for Wendell I think and then we can let Mary hand over either the gar which is a, a rare fish I don't know what that gets actually or the freshwater gobby that we have in Mary's house finally and then we'll be able to complete the glyphs um, but it gets confusing when we're waiting to complete certain patterns for a while. So I guess we'll go ahead and do that now. Hopefully Wendell's still where he is. And then and then from then on it will just be random fish for random patterns because we'll have completed the um the paths and the glyphs. Although there are some train tracks we could try and get if we wanted to do another set. Um but let's see. Let's do the koi. We've already donated it so we don't have to spend too long catching one. Ah, where's he gone? Okay, Wendell, where where are you? <laughs> I wasn't expecting to see Wendell today. Like, it's it's technically it's Monday in this game, and he only came a few days ago. So I thought he might wait at least a week. Hopefully, he hasn't taken the hint and left. <laughs> Uh, but we need to get Mary out anyway, because there's a wallpaper there for Mary to pick up. Oopsie. And to put that in storage. I think it was Pascal's wallpaper. Let's water these flowers. Okay. 
Okay, Wendell. Where have you gone? <laughs> Sorry, Harry, didn't mean to water you there. Uh, Skippy, listen up. Because I tend to bite a little over the abrasive sides, people sometimes don't listen to what I have to say. So I was hoping to learn a nice greeting. Oh, okay. A nice greeting. How about... Um, how about... G. Greetings. I wish we could put Earthling in there as well, but it won't fit. Greeting, Earthling. Oh, we, we missed the S off. Oh, well. well. I haven't been paying too much attention to the fossils either. We've got plenty that we can hand over. This is one of those episodes where I came in with, a, with a, a plan to sort the fossils out, tidy up some of the flowers, and it's just all, it's all just gone completely. <laughs> That's okay. We can, we can work with it. Uh, the flea market is this weekend, and luckily we have some new villagers, so we'll have some new stuff to try and buy and sell. Uh, come and join the fun, you might find the treasure you've been looking for. Maybe we will. Maybe we will. Question is... Where's Wendell? There you are, hey! Got a pattern for a little Pikmin, have you? Oh, have you got... Imagine he had a Pikmin pattern, that'd be kind of cool. Uh, stomach is so very empty, keeps making a noise like... Glur glurgle. Glurgle blurgle. I've always said like, gurgle blurgle. <laughs> Here you go. This is a special one because this is a lucky koi. And it should, I think, give us uh, a quite a cute paw print pattern. I uh, must eat it right away. Thank you. Uh, so good, so tasty, so satisfactory. As a thanks, must give you one of my designs. You have to raise one of your current ones first. I don't know what they were thinking, only giving us like eight slots. There we go. Easy to replace. Uh, so glad I found someone good to take a uh, footstep. Actually, is there even enough? There's not even enough characters to be able to get every single pattern. That's crazy. I've just realized there's more patterns than pattern space. Oh, there's a, a uh, fossil right here. But check this out. How cute is that? Little paw prints. Um. We won't really be able to use it on as Mori, but Mary, um, actually no, we could use it because we're the ones doing this. Oh, that's really sweet actually. That doesn't look too bad. Oh, we've got another carnation. They bred. Oh yes, we can't give um, Apollo one until he moves. So we can't lay a tile here until there's no house there. Okay, what else do we need to do before we save these? I've, come to, I've totally lost um, my trail now. We don't need that. We can donate those. This is the hat we're keeping because we're going to use it eventually. Um, I've totally lost my train of thought. Let's, uh, let's put the pattern in with the Mabel sisters just so we can... Double it over to um, Mary. We'll put it this side. Oh, yes. Uh, that design was a Gurant from Babylon. A gorgeous cloth. Uh, display mine. Uh, I don't mind. How do we display umbrellas? Oh, so it puts it on the umbrella. Oh, that's cool. So the, they have to be umbrellas at the back and they have to be shirts at the front. I didn't realize that. Um, oh, wow, this design could make it big. It's actually really cute. It's a little paw print. Uh, what's wrong, Mabel? Well, a faraway relative has been worried about me and constantly sends me little gifts of money. Who's your faraway relative? Are we talking about Label? Is Label throwing money around just because he works in the big department store? <laughs> And I know this relative isn't rich or anything, so I usually refuse it, but no matter how many times I refuse, it keeps coming, so I don't know what to do. Is it a sibling? Huh? 
Why, Maury, how do you know that? Oh, I know, it must have been Tom Nook. I can't think of any other way you would have known. Well, you're right, for what is worth. Oh yeah, Tom Nook did spill some tea the other day, didn't he? Between me and my older sister Sable, I have another sister, her name is Label. Because of our various circumstances, um, we live apart now. Why is that? Oh, Maury, you're like a police detective or something. Don't worry about silly little details like those. Now, I need to get back to work. Oh, okay. I didn't mean to intrude. Actually, you were the one who started talking about it. Oh, yes. What can I do for you? Um, see design stories, please. Oh, yeah. We still get to make any pro designs, aren't we? So, there are paths. Here we go. We're going to have to move our flag. Have we got the flag in here again? Okay, that's fine. We're going to have to do that. Copy. Yes. I think we're going to keep it out, actually. It's kind of nice. It's basically just this print with some footprints on it. We've got our... Uh, we should still have our... Yeah, we've still got our gaming raccoon there. And... Oh, we haven't put the... Oh, Mary hasn't put the other one of these on display, so... Um, so I can get it. Actually, did we put the train tracks in here? Oh, there they are. Okay, cool. We'll have to get Mary to do that as well. Um, these are pretty cool. Some 3D glasses. Can I try on? Yes, yes, yes. We need these 3D glasses. They look so good with the Pikmin hat. It was meant to be. <laughs> that, looks, that looks too cool. Um, okay, I think we should probably catalog a few things. I don't recognize this shirt. The Lotus shirt will take that. In fact, we might need that hat as well. Can we buy the hat? Combat helmet? Yeah, we're just uh, cataloging these basically. It's pretty sure we've done that. I think we got that one the other day. Just a plain green umbrella. Which, wait, is it ra it's raining here today? We've had a week of like boiling sunshine. And now it's just, it's absolutely raining, raining heavy. Um, so for a second there, I was like, is it raining in Animal Crossing as well? But it's not. I was getting ready to use the paw print umbrella. So have we got anything else we need to sell? Um, no, just these, I think. And the fossils can wait. Okay, let's do this. And then we can head over to Mary, so Mary can get the last glyph. And that's a pretty good achievement, honestly, getting the stuff we've got from Wendell. We've, it took a lot of planning, and we've had to uh, make sure we've got all the right fish and everything. But it's been worth it. <laughs> Uh, we should probably buy the flowers as well. We're starting to see um, flower breeding and hybrids now, so we's, we've got enough out, I think, and having enough rain that we're starting to see them breed by themselves, which is a good point to get to, I think. Like this, thank you. Still no silver rod. If anyone has a silver rod, can we please trade? Or can I visit? If anyone gets in their town, Please um, let me know so I can come and buy it. How much space have we got here? Uh, one more space. We can't buy the trees again. <laughs> Mary will have to buy the trees. Okay, let's have a little look upstairs. Just to double check we're not missing anything cool. And this is the second day you've had this. Are you trying to palm off some dangerous waste to your uh, fellow residents. Got some potted plants. Oh, we haven't got any space. No. <laughs> we'll have to get Mary to come and get these maybe and drop them off outside Maury's house if I remember. Because um, we need some plants for downstairs. We're building out an exotic room at some point this week. Um, uh, exotic and cabana. We're going to have to start ordering things from Tom Nook, probably. 
Right, let's ditch these flowers somewhere. I think we can put them around Mott's garden, actually. Actually, oh. Ah! I wish there was a way around that. I've just remembered we need to put some here to heal. This is more important. We walk past this place all the time. So we'll start healing this. But this is where the old path used to be that led up to... Um, up to the fountain. There we go. And I think we're going to go and ditch the fossils over here. We'll have to do the fossils another day. One. We've got so many. <laughs> okay, there we go. Right, I think that's pretty much everything we need to do as Mori. We definitely don't want to waste this opportunity to get a pattern from Wendell, and it should be this last um, glyph here that we need. So what we'll do then is we'll run into the town hall and magically magically as if from nowhere appear as mary okay we are Mo we are mary <laughs> we'll just check the recycling bin because i think mary's got some trash on her from last time which we don't need anymore and uh, we probably could get away with throwing the line paper away as well just to clean our pockets okay back to the matter in hand we need to go back to our house and get we've, we've got the choice between a freshwater gobby and i think it's a, called a gar um, but I think we should probably do the freshwater gobby. The, the gar is a really rare fish. Hey Wendell, we'll be back, don't you worry. Um, the gar is a really rare fish, so probably going to be a super cool pattern, but I think we should complete the, the glyphs first, and then we don't have to worry about those anymore. Some of them are seasonal fish anyway, so it'd be nice just to wrap this little collection up. So we'll do the freshwater gobby. It took me like just under two hours. I think it was an hour and a half, I think, to do that. Um, to actually catch that freshwater gobby off camera. So we'll, uh, we'll, do, we'll do that today, I think. And then that way that will wrap up the glyphs. We can finally make some patterns like around uh, Mott's old garden and maybe near the money tree. And we've also got some letters, actually. We're going to empty our mailbox. Oh, we've only got one. It's from Dad, from Father's Day as well. Is it going to be the same letter that Maury got? Uh, pop quiz. Oh, it's different paper. Dear Mary, pop quiz. Do you know what day it is today? It's Father's Day. Bit delayed, Dad. It was yesterday, actually. And we got a red carnation bag. <laughs> Um, do you know what would be cool actually if we put this in the garden shop because it's kind of a rare item isn't it Red carnation bag you can pretty much only get them from um, Like from events I think That way it's kind of a special item and We can just plant this one Over there there we go Perfect, because it looks like our carnations over here are breeding anyway, so we don't necessarily need to plant, where is it? We don't necessarily need to plant it, because I think one will be bred. That looks super cute. It looks really cute, those footprints. Right. Wendell, please, let's complete our collection. Um, have we got enough space on us? We should have. Still got, yeah, there we go. So it's going to be this one, hopefully. Uh, where's Wendell gone? He always runs off! Okay, I feel like Wendell walks really slow as well. He's admiring the scenery, taking in the nature, and yet he disappears at a blink of an eye. Tipper! 
Where is Wendell? <laughs> Maybe he's back over towards the money tree. No. Ooh! <gasps> I've worked out how we can do two a day. We can get Mary to... Oh, no. I bet it's one per town, not one per profile. We better not risk it, just in case. I was thinking that Mary could plant a money tree of her own to speed up the process, but... Hey, everyone. It's ignoring you. We're on the trail for... Wendell. We love Wendell! Such an underrated character. So disappointing he never came back to New Horizons in a larger capacity. I know he's here. <laughs> Don't tell me he's down near Mott's Garden. Do you somehow jump up the cliff? Where are you? Huh. Imagine he was in the route, he was just like, yeah, I totally got bored of walking around. <laughs> hey, we have Wendell! So hungry, stomach very empty. No, it isn't, you liar. <laughs> you just had something from Maury. Okay, here you go. He finally brought you the freshwater gobby after all this time, like weeks and weeks of searching. Oh, thank you, good food! Must eat it right away, thank you. No problem. Oh, good, so, satisfa so satisfactory. As thanks, must give you one of my designs. You have to erase on your current ones first. Do you still want it? Of course. Oh, so where do you want it? Well, here. Double check that. Get rid of the triangle window. Mystery circle A! Ah, so happy. So satisfactory. Hey, Apollo. Long time no speak. Hey, haven't seen you... Uh, I haven't seen a, oh, a key on the ground haven't been by any chance. Oh no, Paul has locked himself out now. I think I dropped my house key somewhere. That was my favorite key. It opened my house. I'll turn up sooner or later, but probably faster if you help me out. Do you mind? Oh, okay. What if it says like doors locked? It's locked. No way. That's hilarious. Right. Let's go and put the pattern down here so we can see all the patterns together. Mott's not here to see this because he upped and left. Um, this is what we've been waiting for. Display on ground. There we go. That's so weird. We can make all kinds of patterns by mixing and matching. Um, so you can move this over here. And then display on ground. And then you could bring it back down again. Oh, that's cool. Let's keep it going. Let's do... Oh, that is so cool. Um, I guess we need to kind of wrap it up here. There we go. It's kind of looping on itself. That's so cool. I love this pattern. Like, I, I mean, it's supposed to be like this, how you see it here, I think. Oh, no, wait, is this supposed to be? Oh, a so it's one circle pattern, but you can make lots of circles like this. The circle pattern has to go by the money tree, doesn't it? Let's do that. It simply has to, or should we? Oh, no, I'm scared of the stump thing away. Should we wait until we've got the money trees grown? I think we should wait. We don't want to get too far ahead of ourselves but having uh, a pattern like this it's so cool isn't it right we need to go and put these in the storage so and on display so Mori can grab them but let's just have one more look at this because it's pretty limitless actually you can do any combinations of these and it just looks cool because even though they don't connect here it kind of looks like it's going underneath it and like wrapping it back around so it really does look like a crop circle almost so that's so cool you could even put another one here that doesn't look as cool <laughs> but you get the idea that looks really really cool actually i think that i think mott would have been proud what is he doing why did he leave we were we were really trying hard to get his garden to look good but anyway to the able sisters 
Uh, not that there's anything to buy, but we'll just put this stuff out on display so Mori can back it up in his storage. And I think we need to put some other bits out on display as well. Um, so... Okay, so I think... Let's do our storage first. So we've got the default patterns. We've got... Um, what's the one we need here? This one, isn't it? Copy. And then I think we're just going to reorder these. Swap. So that way they ma marry up here. So we've got one, two, three, four. So that's all of those. We've got the grass patterns. And we've got the train tracks. And we've got those. So we can get rid of those as well. So we need to grab these two things. Uh, that's designed by Wendell. Curve track one. I want it. Uh, I don't mind. We're not using them anywhere, so we can swap them in our pockets at the moment. This is the first step we got today, which is quite a cute one, actually. We'll put that there. But we need to... Let's do the storage first before I get too far ahead of myself and I forget where we're up to. So we've got default. I'll just call them alien circles for short. Some more grass ones. Our track and some of the path. We need to get the rest of the path. I'm gonna put this down on this line because that will go with the, we'll get the four corners there and then we'll do the horizontal ones there. And that's all of them. So what do we need to give Maury? Maury needs the final mystery circle and the wild flowers, I believe. And we should be good. Uh, so let's put the... We might as well put them out here. Once we've done trading back and forth between profiles, we can finally do some pro designs and hopefully s some nice patterns of our own. Um, oh no. I pressed the wrong thing, I think. I'm just going to start again in case I press the wrong thing. Uh, Gary from Babylon, yes, display mine. I don't mind. Uh, yeah, I think we did press the wrong one. So we need to give Mori the one circle we got today. Whoa, that looks a bit trippy. And we'll get, put the flower one on there as well, because I don't think Mori's got the flower one either, which is what we got in the last episode. There we go. Just, uh, just to be safe, I'm going to put the gr plain grass one there as well. And then Mori can double check his storage. There we go. Cool! Whew, that's a lot of work. Um, okay, I think that's all we really need to do today. Now that Wendell's here and ruined our plans, but I'm glad he is because I love Wendell. Probably one of my favourite NPCs or special characters. Or definitely one of my favourite travelling characters. And it's just such a unique mechanic and I love trying to collect these designs and I like the slow pace of it. Even though we really want the collection, I love just kind of working towards it um, and I like the progression of it and knowing that, yes, it's going to take a month, but it'll be so worth it when we've got like four designs, for example. And I think it's a good achievement rather than just like getting it every all on the same day type thing. And I kind of like that about the older Animal Crossing games. Uh, but everything's set out now and we've got the glyphs that we've made a glyph at Mott's old garden. And I think we're going to do a circle kind of all around town maybe. But the first one we'll do is in between the money trees and then we'll put like gyroids around them in between the money trees and the circle glyph. And I think that'll look really cool. But we'll save that until all the money trees have grown up. Um, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed this episode. Sorry, it was a bit chaotic in the middle there. Uh, and we went off on a tangent doing our own thing and uh, because Wendell stopped by but hopefully you enjoyed the episode anyway don't forget to let me know your favorite thing about these episodes in the comments as well I'd love reading them and hoping to get back to you all as well um, today and tonight uh, thank you so much for watching and more importantly once again thank you to the channel members for making this all possible could not do it without you really really appreciate you thank you thank you so much I'll see you all in the next one bye